Hey guys, we're gonna take you on a little ride today. I haven't been making a lot of videos because we got a new addition to the family. We got Zeke. You guys met Zeke already. And we got Zeke, what's your brother's name? <laughs> what's your brother's name? Zayden. Say hi, Zayden. Wave hi, Zayden. Hi. hi. Oh yeah, he's being shy and you're being shy too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main reason why we haven't been making videos recently. But let's close this up and let's go on a ride. So since the last video, um, I've been taking Zeke around when it was just him on the Yup Maxi seat that fits back here. But now that we have two kids, we need a trailer. So with the instep trailer, the coupler that goes onto the bike doesn't fit the Rad City because the axle to the Rad City is slightly bigger. Um, so what I had to do was get a drill bit and bore it out so that it fits onto that. And if any of you guys are interested, I can make a video on that. But other than that, that's about it. Um, yes, I don't have their helmets on because we're on a quiet trail right now. Um, so I just took them off more for comfort because it slides over their eyes sometimes. But when I do go back on the road, um, I will put them on just in case anyone are wondering. Um, what else? We're at 934 miles. Again, I wish I put on more on this bike, but we got the new kid and I've been very busy with that. So let's take off and let's go on a little ride. So I'm in pedal assist one and I set my max speed to 18 kilometers per mile. Um, or, sorry, 18 kilom kilometers per hour. And uh, that is about, I think it's around 11 miles per hour. The reason why I did that was because the instep trailer is only rated, I believe, up to 12 miles per hour. So you can't um, have the trailer behind you going 20 miles per hour. I don't think, uh, yeah, that's just what the manual says. So, um, I'm complying by that. I just lower down the max speed in the settings and that's about it. So today we're riding on the Farmington Canal Trail. And we gotta be careful with these because those are kind of tight. These aren't so bad, but there's some other areas where it's pretty tight to get through. Um, but yeah. So we're on the Farmington Canal Trail in Hamden, Connecticut. It's a beautiful day today. Yesterday it was cold in the 50s and today it's mid 60s. Um, it's fall, so the leaves are changing color. The leaves are on the ground. This is such a beautiful ride. Um, and this trail is only for uh, pedestrians and uh, bicyclists so it's a very quiet trail it's a paved path that I believe goes 70 miles up north um, so that's pretty pretty awesome so I'm just gonna take you guys on this ride and if I think of anything else I'll be sure to share
So again, I have it on 18 kilometers per hour. If I pedal hard, try to get up to that 11 miles per hour, it's, you can see it's still putting out 66 watts. Let me push a little bit harder. It's going up to 12 and I have to stop. So that's kind of one uh, thing about the bike is that the if I set it to 18 kilometers per hour, which is 11 miles per hour, it doesn't necessarily shut off once I get up to 11 miles per hour. So we got a nice straight here. So let's try that again. Pedal assist one, so it's only putting out 66 watts right now. We're gonna hit 12 miles per hour. There's 12. And, and there. So at 12 and a half, it shuts off and then it stays off even at 11.8, 11.7, and then it kind of comes back on around 11 and a half. So if I go up again, here it shuts off at 12 now. And if I keep it at around 12, it stays off. And back down to around 11 and a half and it kicks back on. So, yeah, um, there's like a plus minus one mile per hour difference between what you set it as. It's not that big of a deal, but just thought I'd point that out. So overall, I've had this bike for about two years now. Um, this is a 2017 Rad City. And again, I only have 930, now 35 miles on it. And now that the little guy is a little bit bigger now and he can ride in the trailer, I'm hoping to put on more miles and get out more videos for you guys uh, so keep those questions coming i look at them i haven't been good at replying again because i've been busy but um, hopefully i can start getting back into these videos answering people's questions um, and yeah i mean mainly i do this just for fun just as an fyi um, i think i mentioned it in a different video but um, I'm doing this basically just to help out those who are deciding whether or not to get an electric bike, whether or not to get a Rad City, and it's nice. Uh, when I was shopping around for a bike, it was nice watching these videos and seeing uh, multiple people's uh, opinions on it and their experience. So. I told myself when I get this bike, I'm going to do the same thing. And I think it's been coming out good. I'm obviously no video editor, or have no clue how to edit videos, no clue how to plan a video, which I probably should get better at. But that's kind of why I named the channel a vlog, because um, I wanted it to be pretty raw and just overall sharing my uh, my experience not doing anything fancy 
just riding along, filming my rides, and now with the two boys, I can kind of film my rides with those two guys in the back, which is pretty awesome. And I'm glad that uh, I figured out how to get that instep trailer on this bike. So I'm gonna end this for now, but again, if you guys got any questions, let me know and I'll try to do a video or answer your questions in the comments.